What is happening, fellow pioneers of human transportation? I'm Yogi Steve, and you're watching ESA, the Electric Scooter Academy. Thanks for joining me again for another food delivery shift on the Cabo Wolf King GT Pro. Loving this scooter, it's almost got 250 miles. You can look for a 250 plus mile review video coming out soon on this scooter. If you're interested in buying it, use my bonus code, Electric Scooter Academy, $50 off, link in the description. I really appreciate you guys for using those codes. This move and I'm gonna go straight. If it's your first time checking out my channel, thank you very much. Let me ask you guys to subscribe, like the video, leave comments, ask questions. Viewer participation really drives the channel. So it's early, we walked out here at about, uh, it's relatively early, 10.30 a.m. We're kind of taking the southerly route over to Chick-fil-A. Guys, if I can get 400 likes on this video, I'll give away today's earnings. I'm only working two or three hours, so probably between 30 and 50 bucks. Give me 400 likes in the first 72 hours, and I'll give away whatever I make today. I already rewarded Andrew Valencia in the last giveaway for $29.35. Only 40 people really got the answer right on my first, I'm giving away this shift's pay giveaway. So you would have had a 5% chance to win that. So Andrew Valencia, congratulations. I know I already, I already paid you, we spoke. Again, 400 likes on this video and I will give away the pay from today, which will probably be between 30 and 50 bucks. I wanna show you what's going on here, how many drivers are here. That is Sarah and Isaac's little gas vehicles. These are two new guys that I don't even recognize. And I'm pretty sure I saw, who did I see out here? Is that Paul or Sam? That's Sam. So there's five of us sitting here. I'm probably the only person that took the $3 order. All right, did you give me that $3 Uber order? I took it. Oh, the one on Hudson? Is, I, I don't know, I just got it and I just yeah. figured I would take it since I just got here. And I'm not cutting it in front of you, right? Probably you just talked to him yet? Okay, thank you. Oh. All right, good morning. I'm ready for number one and number two. I got an Uber for Ari. Looks like you don't have anything ready. I'll probably have to say, and Samantha, another regular. I'll just say, you need time, right? No problem. Oh, okay. All right, man, I'll take that Samantha off your hands. Yeah, All right, I also got this Ari for Uber. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait for it, okay? I'll wait for it. Thank you. All right, this other order is only 0.4 away, so we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna wait for number two. Do a double to start the day. All right, I knew you would take care of me, baby. I got that Ari. All right, brother, thank you. I'll swipe them for you, thank you. All right, team, we're working this double still. We're almost ready to go. So we got this double, it's seven plus three. 10 bucks, whatever, it's like three miles total. So I'm just happy to be on the road and moving. And uh, where's this first one going to? I guess we're gonna go south and we'll figure it out. I know it's only a half mile away. It's easy to grab a double when one of them is just a short distance. You know you can do the other one. Although in this case, it's probably gonna make it like instead of two and a half miles, three miles for the second order. But the second order is a DoorDash order and that shit is all timed. And I'm pretty much always on time or early. So can't complain about that. The on time numbers on DoorDash haven't changed for years on my app actually. It's always said like 86% or something, but obviously it's broken since it's never changed. Uh, we gotta go all the way to Seward now, make a right, and then we'll be pretty close. Yeah, this is a really rare side street. I don't even know where the hell we are. What is the address? Oh, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Like, okay, perfect. Beautiful. Alrighty, hell yeah, now let's do the DoorDash order. That was the $3 order. You might have tipped a dollar because it's so close, you never know. They pay by distance. The base pay is by distance and size of the order. So when you're a small delivery driver, you get screwed. I'm only turning the, uh, like the GPS readout display on the videos when I'm going fast or maybe if I'm cruising at a modest speed for a long time. So that's kind of what we're doing here. I don't really even generally know how fast we're going. But uh, I know we're still below 40 since we're in third gear and we're not maxed out. Now we're probably flirting with 40, but it doesn't really matter. This is like my normal driving pace. Occasionally I'll post those above 40 mile per hour videos. I mean, I'd like to try to get one today, but I've gotten used to looking in front of me and realizing there's so much traffic that we're not gonna get like any high speed footage. So this is regular speed footage. I still think it's pretty cool. All right, I'm pretty sure we're going to a store or something like that. Is it gonna be one of these spots? A little closer. Oh shit. I didn't want to even jump into the bike lane with this giant truck coming at me. 
It's always better to air. I know this drop off spot actually. I kind of remember it now. It's just right there in the corner, right? Yeah, okay, we got it. This is an easy drop off. You like my angsty music? I'm an angsty zoomer. Actually, this is probably a millennial music already, though. Hi, for Samantha. Awesome. Let me give you the hot first. But it's not that hot, it's a salad, huh? Okay. I got a drink for you too, friend. Excellent. Thank you, enjoy, my pleasure, thank you. All right, very nice, normal person, $2 chip, let's go. That puts us at 57%. DoorDash trying to get 70 for Top Dasher, but you know, I've never actually, haven't made it there actually for ever because, I haven't made it since the market turned bad because as I got closer, they started giving me these undoable five mile orders. It almost seemed intentional. But it doesn't matter, we're gonna go all the way back to Chick-fil-A. We could go to like Target, but a big part of my mission out here is to put miles on this scooter. There's different ways to push a scooter. You can try to brake it with extremely hard, short-term, acute driving. Or you can drive it like everybody in the world drives their scooters normally for the most part, 99%, and see what goes wrong with it at what mileage point. So that's what I'm trying to do with this scooter. So I don't mind putting two or three miles back on it, going all the way back to Chick-fil-A, where in like a half mile here, I could pull over at McDonald's. Fuck, what's going on here? It's actually not too bad, 45 minutes to do two deliveries, a little over 10 bucks, I mean, not a lot of money, but whatever, who cares? Oh, we got a $5 order live, we're taking it, we're taking everything. Oh, 0.2 miles away, we like it, Uber, let's go. Hi, Isaac and Sarah, really quick, I'm gonna let you eat. In the future, if you want, I'm really thinking about it, if you want to do a, I follow a couple's doing delivery shift, maybe I go back and forth, a full episode on you guys, if you're interested. I was just thinking about it, so okay. not today, because I got to work today. I lose money when I do this, but I would think it would be fucking cool. So think about it. <laughs> we got a double now. We took it without much thought because the first order was only 0.2 miles away. This is a DoorDash, 1.9 miles. It doesn't matter what direction the 0.2 miles is. It's close. We'll do that first. This one's going into the hills, but it goes towards Top Dasher. It could pay more. Who knows? Hi, guys. I got that uh, Chloe for Uber. I'll swipe that for you, okay? And I also have a Crystal for DoorDash. I'll probably just Crystal, Crystal T for DoorDash. Still waiting on Crystal. Yeah, I'll wait for it. It's, it's pretty close by. Thank you. All right, you guys. On me. Thank you. <laughs> she called it before I got to the scooter. That's why you'll see the food is all sitting here. This is a nice double because no drinks. I mean, even though we're like at 100% drinks for the past 18 months, I don't want to drink my jinx myself. Not making much easier. Let's go. So this first one is going to 1411 Highland. It's right up the street. We do have to go in on it. It's no problem. And the other one, I'm not sure where it's going, but we took it. Oh, it's going like deep into the hills, like sort of in the same direction. But anyhow, let's go. Kind of missed our turn off a little bit. We're going up Highland. This should be pretty easy. I mean, this order is like right up the street and the second order is it's like super far into the hills, I guess, but it doesn't really matter. We left ourselves plenty of time. We picked it up the second it was ready, so that goes in our favor, right? I guess instead of going straight to Highland here, we're gonna make a little shorty shorty on McCadden. Yeah. I actually got really turned around finding this place. All right, well, this is obviously it. Serious? Oh no, what the fuck? I hope they see me. Oh my God. There you go. She had to hit it three times, I guess. What the hell? All right, we're going to the uh, fourth floor. Yeah, I don't think I've ever been in this building. I definitely don't recognize it. All right, it. unit 405 shouldn't be too far. We shouldn't be doing any crazy uh, hallway footage here, I don't think. 405. Another little guessing game, left or right. 412 is probably, that's 414. So then it's this way, right? Fuck yeah. Actually, we are gonna have to scoot a little bit. All right, so that was pretty easy. Now we just gotta get out of here safely. Okay guys, so you're allowed to be 10 minutes late for a DoorDash order. This run is seven minutes away. We're gonna have to go pretty fast to get there actually on time. So this is like the only types of orders where I'm not 100% sure where we're going because there's so many little curvy streets in the hills. 
But uh, we're gonna get some nice footage. I was like shooting up here for sure. Yeah, man, the days of the pandemic when there was like no traffic out here are completely behind us, right? Like even like at odd hours, there's always something going on out here. It is what it is. We still gotta go all the way down to Laurel and make these funky turns up here. This is Laurel Canyon. This is an insane place to drive a scooter. But I think we're gonna get off it pretty much right here. This street right here that begins with an F, I think. Yeah, this is it. Fair home. And then we take this windy road all the way to the destination for the most part. These streets, like, you can kind of go pretty quick. But left on what? Left on floor, okay. You can kind of go pretty quick on these streets. You just gotta be careful around the corners. Imagine somebody coming down here, like, fast. It's like a slightly wet out here, too. Here's another dangerous corner. She's like, I gotta, stay as I gotta stay hard to the right as much as I can, but I also want to stay out of this water. Okay, so, oh, oh, we're catching the water no matter what. Look at that fucking view. Left on floor, we're almost there. Every one of these corners is actually pretty much just dangerous, except for this. This is nice now. All right, Turn here we go. Avenue, then you will arrive at your destination. Uh, so there's only houses up here for the most part, so. Oh my God, all the way up this fucking mini hill, and that's floor right there. We'll make a left. I get killed here by this guy. Okay. What's the address we're looking for? 8021. I was gonna get there. That's 8011. Alrighty. Luckily, there's no drinks or anything. This is like a super steep hill. Oh, I recognize this spot. I recognize it. I always recognize it. This has got to be all right. 8021. Yeah, this is it. Oh, sorry. I'm pretty positive this is it. I was gonna take this four dollar Uber. I actually took it. I think I'm gonna give it back. I think we're gonna do a five mile DoorDash order for 17 bucks. Fat salads and veggie grill. Why not? Let's just do that instead, and that'll be the end of the day. That's gonna take some time, but all right, I'm happy about it though. Let's go fat salads and veggie grill. Yeah, I really don't mind doing this order. I was looking at that four dollar order. It actually had three drinks. It was making me mad that people don't tip for. You know, I mean, the customers know that drinks make things just a little bit more difficult. Um, I'm, I'm sure most of them don't care. If you're not tipping, you're not tipping, right? All right, so we're going to Fat Sal's. It's just like a two-item pickup. Should be no big deal. We do actually have the scooter on because we've been in a bad habit of uh, jumping the gun before we turned this thing on recently. Still getting used to the new scooter. It's got about 250 miles on it now, probably. Review coming soon. And Fat Sal's is just south of here, no problem. Let's go, baby. Yeah, the condo is still up. I wonder how much longer till the city comes and brings down the dwelling over there because they never let anything stay for too long. Oh, so we're doing a five mile order. We're basically going to like Silver Lake. So you'll see some new territory. We'll make 17 bucks at least, could pay more. We'll pump up our DoorDash acceptance rate as well. So cannot complain. You ready for me? I got Leia P. I mean, did you see what happened there? <laughs> I guess he's new or something. But, like, I had a feeling my order, that was my order sitting there, too. Well, we love Fat Sal's because they got bottled drinks. Pretty easy order. And now we got to go to Veggie Roll. Got to be careful, though. It's like a movie theater. You know, people are going to come flying out of here. Oh, this has got a T in it. Hopefully it's sealed. Sadie. I got a Sadie for DoorDash. Sadie. Pause in the bag, okay? Thank you so much. Yeah. I had a feeling it was one of these drinks, but you know, we're good at it. These are like not good travel drinks. That sticker doesn't hold the lid down. It's just for the hole, which just creates compression in there. So make it explode. First order is basically 2.6 miles, 2.6 miles east on Hollywood Boulevard. So Let's go north to Hollywood Boulevard, and then we'll start driving east. Shouldn't be too bad. We don't even... Turn left onto North Gower Street. All right, it's telling me to take Gower. It's fine. We're going to go around all this fucking traffic, though. Fuck this shit. Yep. We're going to do Aguilar Park for many reasons. That's one of them right there. Come on. All right, guys. Isaac's out of here. He challenged us to a delivery race, guys. What can I tell you? See, you weren't looking. I don't think he's as fast as me. <laughs> I think I'm faster than him. He's younger though. Oh, he's right behind me, the motherfucker. All right, let's show these. Let's do something stupid. 
Let's see if he can actually keep up with me. Oh, he's right behind me, the motherfucker. So, oh, we're making a left though. Oh shit, I'm making a left though. I'm making a left though. You fucker. <laughs> oh, that was dumb, but it was fun. That was a little bit of excitement. That was fun, Isaac. Let's not do that again, bro. I was literally, I was practicing, I was doing a fantasy race in my head. But I forgot we had to make this left on Gower, so. Oh shit. Come on, what the fuck is going on here, man? My adrenaline's all pumped up from the race. And now these guys are all just like cruising, cruising, cruising. Don't honk at people, just fucking go. Uh, this one is uh, 1.4 miles away, it's not too bad. I'm gonna really fly and blind out here, not blind, but like I don't know where we are. Hillhurst, what the fuck, which way? I'm completely guessing which way we're going to, got no clue. I will right, we'll figure it out. I didn't have the camera on, but we just like came down. The steepest drop caught me off guard a little bit. All right, so we're close. Look at this new neighborhood, folks. I don't know what this is considered, but this would be a pretty cool area to live, I think. The houses look pretty nice. Come on, guys, let's go, let's go. All right, friends, I think I'm gonna sign you off right before I do the drop off. off. Don't forget, if I get 400 likes for this video, I'm gonna give away the money I make in this video. It's gotta be at least 30 bucks, I think, right? If it's not 30, I'll, I'll, minim I'll make a minimum giveaway of 30 bucks. All you gotta do is like the video, get us to 400 likes, and then in the comments, put the number amount that you think it's gonna be. Use a dollar sign, use a, like, you know, dollar sign 30.00, whatever the total is, but you have to do that exactly, because I'm using like a comment picker that chooses from your phrases, from your comments. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, use the bonus code Electric Scooter Academy for any scooter you see in my videos. It really helps me, really supports me as a content creator. I know we've sold some pretty cool scooters to uh, Roller Motors customers, and 99% of them are super happy, and the other 1% we eventually make happy because they're a good company, they're there for you, they're not going to vanish. You want to buy from an established scooter dealer for sure. All I got. Are you Sadie? Awesome. Hey, Dim. Another successful drink. Thank you very much. Oh, you didn't order a drink? Oh, did I give the person? I think I gave the person your soda. I think they. I think something got messed up. Take this one anyhow. It's a, it's a beautiful drink. I'm sorry if it's not the drink you ordered. Call the company. Maybe they'll give it to you for free. Probably my bad, to be honest with you. But that's your order. That's Veggie Girl, right? You ordered Veggie Girl, yeah, right? That's my yeah. Oh, but no, that Veggie Girl doesn't sell. They gave you the wrong drink thing. Because the other customer got a Sprite in a bottle. Veggie Girl doesn't sell that, right? So, yeah. I don't think I ordered a drink, but this is cool. Fuck yeah, take it, take it. <laughs> Thank you, Sadie. Did I forget to give a customer a drink today? I think I might have. All right, let's see how far we've actually been out here for. That was a slightly awkward experience, I gotta admit. But uh, let's see, we've been out here for two hours, 18 miles.